We're continuing to look at question 3 of the May 2024 CSET Mathematics past paper. Um, we reach part B. What it says here, in the diagram below, PQ, that's this, PQ, is parallel to MN. Okay, you can see the two arrows here showing that they are parallel. L R T L R T is an isosceles triangle. Right? And S L T S L T is a straight line. Okay. Find the value of X. Mm. The one X. The value of X. Alright, guess what? What we're going to do, you see? I have another diagram somewhere. I want to copy to zoom in on this diagram and copy it. And put it over here. Alright, so let's see what's going on with this diagram here. How we're going to deal with things. Alright? <coughs> let's pull it down here. So they said they want X. So now, what do we have? <coughs> First of all, they say this is isosceles. This triangle here is isosceles. That means two sides are equal and two angles are equal. So, by being isosceles, it means this is equal to this. Right? They already have hex x here. All this y and this y. Now, here, the angles in the triangle, they both add up to 180 degrees. So, y plus y equal, um, plus 28 <coughs> gives you 180 degrees. And by the way, I just remember, you must, just like any other video that you see me do, any other math video write down the question or if you have printed the past paper sit down and make a genuine attempt at answering the question before you watch the video if you get stuck at the first part you can watch the first part of what I do but once you see the first part cleared pause the video sit down and Go on to the next part, the second part, and so on and so forth, right? So you must make sure you practice. Alright, so y plus y is 2y. 2y plus 28 equals 180. Alright. Um, what else happens here? 2y is equal to 180 minus 28. What is 180 minus 28? You can work at all for me. 180 minus 28 is what? You get 152. So 2y equals 152. So divide by 2, you get y equals 152 over 2. That is 152 over 2. Seventy-six degrees. All right, so you get 76 degrees, 76 degrees, all right, all right, let's just write them in here, 76 degrees, and this one is 76 degrees. Alright, so you have those <coughs> those two angles there. 
All right? No. The thing is, my, what happened there? Okay. The thing is, no. Suppose you consider um, which other angle? This angle here. You go like this, this, this. What you have? Alternate angles. All right. So now, this must be twenty-eight. See that? Sometimes they call it Z angle. All right. That's 28. Now, this whole angle would be what? It would be 76 plus 28 equal. And 76 and 28. 76 plus 28 equal. I get 104. Alright, call it 104 now. Let's erase this. Well, it's 104 degrees all of this angle all right now let's look at what's happening here it's a situation like this if you have this angle up here and this angle here vertically opposite when you look at it, this angle x and this angle x must be equal. So, if that is the case, remember, you have this angle x, right? This is going straight across here. And this angle, or in other words, this and this. So, x will be the same as 104. See? So in this case, you can say x is equal to 104 degrees. So you see that? Alright. So you do all of that work in this space. And you have x equal 104 degrees. Alright. Now Let's see something. Oh, part C is another topic. Looks like um transformation. So let us look at this part in the next video.